should have got my coffee, hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, good morning, welcome back, glad you're here. I was planning on filming a full detailed long day in the life today, and then I got woken up this morning to a sub job, and since today was like the only day all week that I could sub, I decided to take it, it's in second grade. It has been several weeks actually since I've subbed. I feel like I've been kind of tapering off. What is Ellie doing? tapering off a little bit. So I am excited to sub today though. Before I head out the door, I did want to take a second and thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Osea. I've talked about them so many times before, so this is nothing new. You looked so cute in the background, Ellie. If you've never heard of Osea, Osea is clean and vegan and cruelty-free body and skincare. It's female founded and family operated. Osea has such great gift ideas this holiday season if you are still looking for gifts for somebody or even if you're just looking to treat yourself they've got some amazing products they are truly some of my favorite body care products that I use every single day in both my morning and my night routine specifically I really love the Andaria body best sellers this comes with two of the products that I literally use every single day this is the Andaria algae body butter I use this stuff all the time. I use it every single night when I get out of the shower and then I also use it on my hands just all throughout the day because it's getting to that like dry air cold weather season. It's super thick. It smells so good and it just leaves my skin feeling really moisturized and hydrated but it's not greasy. It's very glowy and hydrated and then it also comes with the Andaria algae body oil and this is a really really great option especially in my night routine just to add another layer of moisture before I go to bed and after I get out of the shower again I use this stuff all the time this is my second bottle this particular bundle is limited edition so make sure you grab it quick and you save money when you buy the duo because separately these products have a value of $108 but when you buy the bundle it's $72 so that's 33% savings I will have the Andaria body bestsellers linked in the top of my description box for you to check out and if you use my code Emma Holiday you'll save 10% off of your order like I said this is limited edition so make sure you grab it now whether it's a gift or just to treat yourself thank you so much again to Osea for partnering with me on today's video they are one of my favorite brands to work with make sure you go check them out time to talk with you but it's the end of the day this plan time is at the end of the day which is kind of nice because it means I'm done but also when I don't have anything to do it'd be nice to like leave but it's cool um the day has been cake 10 out of 10 I really really like second grade I feel like I've talked about that before but if I were to have gone back this year I would have been moved up to second grade um, and I feel like if I go back, it might be in second grade, but that's in the far future. It's kind of starting to like hit me and sink in though, because once this baby is here, I just really don't see myself subbing a lot, if at all, because of just like childcare reasons mainly. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to ask my in-laws to watch both the girls. And I also just really don't want to leave my newborn like I had to with Jordan. Like that's why I quit was because I really want to be like a full-time stay-at-home mom like I never got to be in that first year or two with this baby so it's really sinking in I feel like how close she's gonna be here like it's only three months away which three months is a long time but also it's really not and I'll probably be done subbing um, a little ways before I'm even due just to like rest and get everything ready and again do what I wasn't able to do when I had Jordan. I had to work almost up till my due date um, and I just really want to like soak in resting in that last several weeks and being with Jordan and all that. So realistically I probably only have like two more months of subbing left and that's gonna go so fast when I only sub a day or two a week. It's like I closed the door when I quit full time. Like obviously I already quit and 
have like moved on from that but also I'm still here I still get to see them every day not every day I still get to see them every once in a while I still get to kind of be involved and like kind of in the know like I still see friends that work here and get to like hear about everything going on and like see those old students but I feel like after these couple months it's kind of like a hard cutoff like I'm really done and that just feels really strange to know that I'm like approaching that that was a weird ramble I don't know I just have been thinking about that but anywho it's been a really good day my feet and my back are really aching though so I'm just gonna sit here until I have to pick them up I just got home and Ellie is chugging her water Michael grilled some chicken this weekend um, and I got a little salad mix from Aldi's on Friday and we're having a little chicken Caesar salad and here's what's funny <laughs> in my pregnancy with Jordan I did not have Caesar salad one time because it's like one of those things that you're not supposed to eat when you're pregnant if you disagree it's cool you know everyone eat to each their own but I just think it's funny because with my first pregnancy with Jordan I did not eat anything that was even like slightly unrecommended or I don't even know like there's like this huge list of things you're not supposed to eat when you're pregnant obviously some things are more serious than others like raw sushi is like that's kind of a non-negotiable or things like that like I will not eat that obviously but things like hot dogs or Caesar salad or deli meat I didn't have at all or queso I just think it's funny because in my first pregnancy I was so aware of all those things. I didn't need a deli sandwich for the whole nine months and I was dying. Like that was what I wanted my first meal to be. This time, like I've definitely had a turkey sandwich when that was all that sounded good. And I've definitely had Caesar salad and I've definitely had hot dogs and it's okay. And it's okay if you disagree. But um, it makes me laugh just because people like always say you kind of care less and less. And I've absolutely found that to be true. Anywho, it got really cold and dark, so I don't think a walk is gonna happen, which is a bummer, but that's okay. I was about to say I might try to get a workout in. I did do a workout yesterday, and I'm not gonna lie, it felt really, really good. I'm definitely trying to like get back into it, what I've been saying that for several months. Mentally, I'm there. Mentally, I want to work out. I want to be healthier. I want to like lift weights again. And I found some pictures the other day from like March or April, right before I got pregnant. And I was working out every single day. I was probably the healthiest I've been in many, many years. I looked good, I felt good. Like I definitely reaped the benefits of working out and eating a little bit better. And then when I got pregnant in the summer, it just all kind of stopped. I miss it, I really do. Especially because it's like that time of year where people start making goals and setting resolutions and you start thinking about where you wanna be in a year. Anyway, that's my update. Um, but today was a good day, kinda like I shared earlier. I definitely got caught vlogging, which is a little bit uncomfy, but you know, who cares, am I right? I'll chat with you again tomorrow. Like I said, I was gonna do a whole day in life and that obviously got a little bit messed up. So we'll vlog again tomorrow. Sorry, I'm not looking at you. I'm cutting up the chicken. I am so hungry. I'm also craving, we were just talking about health, <laughs> but I'm craving some chocolate chip cookies so bad. Like fresh, homemade, out of the oven chocolate chip cookies. So that is gonna have to happen either tonight or tomorrow for sure. Cause I've been thinking about them for a few days and like, I need them. down for her nap and I have not talked with you at all yet today and it's been kind of a crazy morning I'm also just now 
like finishing my coffee from this morning it's half drink um and i'm stuffing jordan's stocking because i had to run to walmart this morning to grab some milk and ended up grabbing some little stocking stuffers for michael and for joe and for like a white elephant that we have coming up in her stocking i got these from the target dollar spot i was gonna leave everything in the box but i don't think it's like not really fitting very well. I got her two sets of these because these were like $3 a piece. Um, and then from Walmart today, I got her a couple of the little people, people, <laughs> because for her birthday this weekend, my mom got her a little dollhouse. So I thought they could go with that. Um, I also got her these fidgets from Walmart, but these are great for church or things like restaurants or things where you need them to be quiet. But like she's obsessed with little fidgets and then i got her some baby bottles and a little pacifier and a bib for her baby dolls and all this was so inexpensive but obviously this is not gonna fit in here so i have to open this one for sure we also had a little play date this morning so that was really fun i think i decided i'm gonna vlog just the rest of the week and just try to edit as i go so that it's up sunday but i have a lot of party prep to get done tomorrow and friday is her party is Saturday, so I'll take you along for that. And I'll just kind of keep the vlog going. I also changed, but it is still Wednesday. I have a little Christmas party um, with the worship team at our church tonight. So I changed into a little Christmas crew neck that I made a couple years ago. Here we go. Her stocking is done and Michael's stocking is done. And all of our presents almost are pretty much done, which is really impressive for me. <laughs> Yesterday was such a fail at vlogging, so hopefully today and tomorrow will be a little bit better, but today is Thursday and we are going to go to Aldi here soon and go grocery shopping because tomorrow is going to be just like such a packed busy day that I won't have time. Um, I have to show you what came in the mail from Amazon because it's adorable. It's massive and it's like this huge radiator springs banner you cannot do that that's not safe <sighs> jordan has learned how to turn doorknobs now and it might be the death of me like it is probably the worst thing she's learned how to do so far it's just very challenging and now i get really nervous because she like messes with the locks sometimes and i'm nervous she's gonna like lock herself in a her room so it might be time to get those like doorknob child protector things but i hate those Anyways, I got this cute banner from Amazon. I can link it. So adorable. It's huge. And then yesterday, I printed a bunch of just little Cars characters that I can tape around. So I'm feeling good. You did it! What did you make? I also feel like this week has been hard for me to vlog because I've been doing a lot of vlogging and filming for Instagram. Um, at the same time and it's really hard I've learned this week because I usually really just prioritize YouTube It's really hard to do both and try to get like double content I'm usually just doing one or the other But I am doing vlogmas over on my Instagram, which is Emma Grace Jens if you do not already follow me there <gasps> Did you cook some for me? Mm, what is it? <sighs> Thank you. That is delicious. Vlogmas on YouTube would just not be possible um, if you don't know what Vlogmas is, basically you just vlog every day from December 1st until Christmas Day. Um, and there's just no way. So instead, I have been trying to... She found the loudest toy. <laughs> instead, I have been trying to upload a reel every single day from December 1st until Christmas. Some of them are vlogs, some of them are just other things. But that's been taking up quite a bit of time. Man, I have the worst worst headache i had it last night but i so i just went to sleep and i woke up and it was actually much better but within the last like 20 minutes it is actually like spreading to like my eyes and my jaw and my like sinuses this is one of the hardest parts i think about being a mom and a stay-at-home mom 
is when you don't feel well, like when I was in the first trimester and feeling really nauseous and dizzy or just you get sick. It's like I don't get to take a sick day. I don't get to go lay down with a rag over my eyes. Like I still have to do all the things. Like I still have to grocery shop. I still have to take care of my toddler and I still got stuff to do. So I'm also so hungry but my headache is making me nauseous. We're on a roll. <laughs> Grocery shopping with her is usually honestly a piece of cake, but uh, today, Girly felt like talking to every single person that she saw and howling like an like a wolf and telling everybody about Mickey Mouse on her shoes. And then at the end, when I was loading every, like, you know, you have, all, you have to bag your own groceries. She's standing there and she sits down and takes off her shoes and socks. <laughs> like the most toddler grocery shopping experience I've ever had. I did get a lot of stuff though for her party, which is good because I was thinking I might have to go take a trip to Sam's. Um, and I don't think I'm going to have to now, which is good. They had everything they needed that's like food-wise for a great deal at Aldi's. So. You guys, I found this at Aldi today. It's like a, you know what they are? Where you drive your cars on it. Looks like a little road, but it's car. And it's like Radiator Springs. And then it comes with a couple of cars characters. Honestly, I have no idea how much it is or was. I just saw it and was like, immediately yes. Um, if I find the receipt stuffed in a bag, I'll tell you how much it was, but that's gonna be her birthday present that she like opens on her birthday. Cause she'll forget, I'm just gonna go hide it and she'll forget we got it. Cause there was no hiding that, but what a steal. <laughs> It was $19.99. Honestly, a deal in my opinion. This is the place to go. The only thing I don't like about Aldi is that everything is very like seasonal. And you can't link anything. So like, if I find something I love, I have to stock up on it, or it's just luck of the draw with like toys and stuff. You know, play hippopotamus. <laughs> up from her nap and I just set her up with her little love every sink which is the best but I was just catching up on some YouTube comments and I also started editing this video and it's such a mess you guys so thanks for hanging in there with me this week has just been a bit of a whirlwind I'm feeling much better now but this morning I was honestly I felt like such a bad mom I had the worst headache like I kind of talked about I was really nauseous like I was just not feeling good at all I was very tired and I got some stuff done while she napped but I also took like a 45 minute nap and that helped me feel so much better like I feel like such a better mom now I'm much more patient and engaged and ready to play with her and like yeah. anyways kind of talking about all that I got a comment asking about how I balance getting things done because I have this as a job and I also take care of our home while Jordan is awake and like how I'm balancing playing with her and working and all of that. Um, it was a really good question. She said, do you have a structure or a routine in what you do? Do you just see how the day goes? I, she said she felt like some days she lets her kid watch a lot of TV so she can get stuff done and then other days no work gets done but she's really engaged. And I saw this thing on Instagram, I saved it, let me go find it. it quite literally changed my entire perspective on motherhood. I'm not being dramatic. I think about it on a daily basis now. If you're home with your kids all day, you can't possibly be all three of these things in one day. So just pick one thing for that day and just go with it. And it's fun and present, productive and relaxed and recharging. That was so freeing for me to just realize like one, those are what, that's what everybody strives to do. But when you think about it, it's impossible to do all those things at the same time. It's impossible for me to get everything done and be productive around the house while being engaged with my kid, while resting and recharging. Like 
Those are all very different things. And hearing like you can't do them all at the same time. You need to pick one and focus on one a day or really I kind of chunk my day is how I like to think about it into categories where this section of allotted time is when I know I'm going to get stuff done, whether it's nap time or sometimes it's when she's awake. And I know that this chunk of my day is going to be um, resting and recharging. And I do like to have a, a little bit of that during her nap time, just to kind of sit um, and whether it's take a little power nap or just like sit in silence and not be needed for a few minutes. And then I have another chunk of the day, which is probably my biggest chunk that I try to have as my biggest chunk where I'm playing with her and sitting with her and being engaged with her and doing things for her. But it's impossible to do all of those things at once. And I think realizing that was just such a weight lifted off of my shoulders that I'm not expected to do all of it at once and it's actually impossible. So I just kind of chunk my day in little pockets of time. Mama. Yes, baby girl, I'm in here. Wait. In the living room. What is it? It's coffee. And I just wanted to share that in case you are a mom, whether you're a stay at home mom or not, I feel like that's helpful just when you're at home. And I've also had to let go of a lot of mom guilt when I do need that chunk of time to be productive. Because like I was saying earlier, I feel like such a better mom just by like laying down for an hour and pausing being productive i literally feel night and day different like i needed that rest so badly so the things that i could have or should have i guess been doing during that hour i can do it while she's awake or i can do it when she goes to bed or i can do it tomorrow you know like every day is different you gotta find the balance and i think that's okay okay and now i'm going to go be fully engaged with jordan and just spend some time with her we might go play outside when she's done with this go for a walk, just have a nice evening, and kind of check out in terms of vlogging. Mm -hmm.